Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Cancer. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so Cancer, I've done your spread today with my big combined animal oracle um, blended with my good tarot deck all in one great big stack. Um, so you're gonna see a blend of the two decks in your spread today. As well, I'll just say at the beginning here before I even start, that this reading is really interesting to me because I can't completely distinguish which side of the story the Cancer is on. It's almost like it keeps flipping back and forth. I already started recording this video and I kept getting confused between the roles. I kept flipping back and forth and it was getting confusing and so I stopped and I, this is my second attempt at this. So what that seems to be telling me is that there's either a complete kind of um, even split between the cancers that will be watching this. Some of them are on one side of the story and some are on the other and it's a very even split, not weighed more towards one or the other. So you could be on either side of this story. Also, it's kind of telling me that perhaps that that is what's occurring in this dynamic is that, you know, it's almost like maybe each of you are having a similar experience, like popping into each side of the, of the story in and out of it, you know, just, it seems to be a meeting, a new meeting of, of a new person that maybe you're flipping out in and out of each of these characters. So I'll just jump in um, and you'll know how it resonates for you. But if it gets a little confusing back and forth, that's why. So we start with the dog spirit here. Right, And then the stag spirit came out next to it immediately. These two came out together. You know, almost presenting as a couple, but I really actually felt like they're just meeting. They were kind of like this face-to-face -face energy just coming into each other's awareness. So initially, like I said, Cancer, I thought this was you because it was the first card out, immediately followed by the stag. I thought this was somebody that you were coming across. But... I can't, I honestly, I can't, I can't tell which one is you. It keeps flipping back and forth. So the stag spirit, what I'm getting from that is that this meeting, this coming together, this new person that you're, that you're coming into awareness of, if you're the dog, this person is absolutely captivating to you. It's like they, you're seeing them as this evolved, elevated, um, how do I want to describe them? highly achieved, just gorgeous, uh, um, highly decorated, um, mystical, mysterious. It's like you're completely enticed, intrigued. They hold your full attention. You see this dog. If you're familiar with dogs and their body language, when they, when they first uh, look at something that is captivating to them, they almost hold their breath, they, they hold still for a second. And that's what I get from this energy. It has that look of, the, of a dog first, you know, and you know, they hold, they hold that for a moment before they pounce, right? Before they move, lunge towards whatever it is. So I'm getting that, that this is, that's why I'm saying you're just meeting each other. This one is absolutely captivated by this one. This one may not even be fully aware of what this one is going through. But like I said, it seems like it keeps flipping back and forth. So it could be very mutual actually. But what I'm getting from this dog is that maybe not, you know, if this is you, Cancer, maybe not usually in your life, but when you meet this one, it brings to the forefront for you in comparison, standing next to this one, it makes you feel common and ordinary and mundane in comparison to whatever they have going on, their achievements. Maybe they're, they're very well established in their life. Maybe they're, you know, however that expresses for whatever reason, or this is you cancer, you should know that this one that you've just met that seems very uh, into you feels like you're out of their league. That's the energy I'm getting here. It's not true. It's just a perception that this one has. Like I said, on their own, they're completely fine. Like, you know, moving through your life, you may be completely content and, you know, 
have confidence and such, but it's just something about this pair that makes this one a little bit self-conscious and and um, feeling ordinary. That's the word I'm getting. You feel ordinary in comparison to this one because this one is just so, so gorgeous and just, I'm you know, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. So what comes out next is this coy spirit and that just um, is more of that what I'm talking about just confirms what I'm talking about about being mesmerized I think of this one like if you if you've ever stood at the edge of a koi pond um, anybody even if you're in a group of people everybody who steps up to the edge of the koi pond and peers in it's like everybody just gets really quiet and mesmerized just, you just get you just get drawn into this gorgeous energy the the gracefulness this the saturation of colors, the the gemstone colors and glittery sparkliness of this of these creatures, they're just mesmerizing, and that's what that's what this one is going through. I mean, it came out next to this um, this Ten of Cups, which is the dog spirit, whichever side you're on, Cancer. The dog is experiencing this, just this this. They came out this way, but I want to put them like this because. It's like this, this one is peering into the pond and is just taking in, taking in what they're observing and it's just making them feel absolutely light and childlike. Like this, this one um, just feels very childlike, lighthearted, jolly, you know, that kind of just giddy. It's a giddy energy, like almost a disbelief at the jewel that they've stumbled upon. And they're just, like I said with the dog, it's like they're not even necessarily moving towards it at this point. They're just taking it in. It's like they're just stepping back for a moment and assessing the beauty of what they've stumbled across. They almost feel like, this is this is could this really be happening? Um, with the frog spirit out next, I'm kind of getting a couple messages through this. This one here, feels you know with the with the antlers being decorated there they feel really decadent they could be um have a very financially abundant you know solid foundation they could be living a very a very um wealthy lifestyle because this frog is coming across you know i've never noticed really before this line of of color up the the middle of this frog it turned the frog in for a moment to me into almost like a brooch like a really ornate um brooch with gems on it so that kind of you know is emphasizing the decadent lifestyle perhaps of this creature and it, it doesn't necessarily have to be physical abundant wealth but it could be just um you know however that expresses a a, a, a strength of character a clarity of vision uh um very gifted and talented you know it's it's like uh um an exuberance of some sort, whether it's physical wealth or character wealth or spiritual wealth, that's how it's coming through. But this is actually the more of the dog spirit. When when they take in this koi, the frog again peering into this pond from the lily pad, it's like just the observation of this one is bringing the frog into alignment. That's what this, I've noticed it's like a, it's like the chakra is coming into full alignment and then holding this, this ball here was almost coming across as like a scrying, like a third eye, um, psychic, you know, a crystal ball looking into a crystal ball, like scrying. It's like suddenly some sort of vision, either it's, it's a vision you've been holding onto for a while. It's like you, you perhaps had a vision of this one prior to meeting. And so it's it's in your awareness as you take in this scene that's coming up for you. Like, I've seen this before. I'm familiar with this. This could be the one I saw coming. It's that kind of an energy. Or it's just kind of opening you up in that way where you're starting to, to receive kind of intuitive nudges about what's going on here. It's like it's like this intuitive gear kicks in where you're you're getting more information about this situation that is apparent on the surface um and this page of air spirit this is just the energy of this reading is just really light and fun it's like this hallelujah moment with this card here today this this 
this dog spirit going, thank God I finally come across the path of this one. This is exactly the, um, the energy that I need in my life to just brighten my days, to lighten me up, to, um, you know, bring me into alignment to, you know, and like I said, if this is something that you've seen coming or something that they've seen coming, I'm really having a hard time knowing which side of the story to tell here. Um, it's definitely, uh, like, like a liberation, like, a, like a, I just, I just hear hallelujah today when I look at this card and in, and in a really fun way, right? So, and then the messenger of air coming out next, I feel like there seems to be with this dog spirit, there seems to be almost a reluctance to approach with the messenger of air. I'm seeing the dog kind of sitting back. All of this energy so far is just kind of sitting back and taking in the scene. But there with this card here, the messenger of air, it's very much a, like a stepping back and plugging into um, spiritual guidance, spiritual intuition about the situation, about how to approach it, how to um, step into it, how to meet it. It's, so it's like seeking spiritual counsel with your higher aspects or your intuition, because I see this as spirit whispering into your ear and you leaning into it or them leaning into it. You know, it's like, it's like, they have to stop and assess the situation and and receive clear guidance about how to how to move forward because it's like they don't want to screw it up. They don't want to make any mistakes. Um, and with the page of water and the three of water coming out next, what this was telling me is that this dog energy and like I said before at the very beginning here when I tried to record this and then had to record it again. This could be the experience of both. Like I said, you could be flipping back and forth. You could each be taking turns being the dog or the stag, you know, admiring each other and not realizing that you're both actually going through the same, the same um, emotional phenomenon in reaction to meeting each other. It's like, it, it's very possible that you're both experiencing this and both flipping back and forth from each perspective, if that makes sense. But so with these two cards, the page of water and the three of water, um, I've been saying recently about this card, the three of cups is usually like a celebration card, the three um, women coming together in celebration. But with the visuals and the energy in this card, I see it more as um, like, I don't want to say emotional turmoil here. It's not turmoil. It's uh, emotional welling up. It's like a vortex of emotional welling up with the page of water. It's kind of saying to me that, that it's bringing up a lot of new emotional experiences. You, you know, meeting this one is a new realm of emotional experience for you. And it's like, that's why this vortex energy is coming up. It's like you're having to, or they're having to, um, you know, and perhaps that's part of what's going on here is that they're really having to assess and reorient themselves in this experience. It's like this, this emotional wave has come over them and they're having to find their place within it and, and receive guidance about how to proceed forward. So it's like they're trying to, or you're trying to get your bearings about this situation. It's all very new. It's a new territory for you. And with the page of earth out next, again, another page, page of water, page of earth. This page of earth, if you've seen him in my other readings, I call him the he remembers card. And it kind of goes along with this frog spirit here where there's something about meeting this one. There's something about the meeting of these two beings that one of you, if not both of you, are experiencing, is triggering a remembrance in you a remembrance of who a remembrance about yourself more than necessarily the connection something about them is triggering an awareness or a welling up within you about about yourself about who you are about where you, you know your origins your gifts and abilities you know you may you may have you know with this with this scrying here you may have like latent abilities that seeing this one, you know, they could be a very well 
established energy worker. They could have a very um, successful spiritual business perhaps and observing their flourishing in that field could be triggering something in you about about how you know the, that resonance is bringing it to the surface for you about how you also share those similar kinds of gifts though you may not have realized it until now until they came into your awareness it's like it's like turning on a light switch for you and you're suddenly remembering things remember maybe forgotten things i'm starting to think of a conversation i've been having with with one of the one of my subscribers through email and he's been talking about how um, he's been suddenly remembering all this stuff from his childhood, these spiritual mystical experiences from his childhood that are just recently coming back into his awareness, right? Like as we move through um, the responsibility of being an adult, growing into adulthood and becoming responsible, all of this stuff kind of gets tucked away, right? So, but when you come into alignment, especially suddenly, um, triggered by a very mystical experience or a mystical being that you're meeting a lot of memories may start flooding back that seems to be what's happening for you um sorry i catch my breath here i feel like i'm really energized by this reading it's really um anyway so the ace of fire of course the ace of fire all this remembrance rushing in all of this passion rushing in. But what it was actually pointing out to me, because it came out with the king of air, is, you know, the king of air, this is what I'm talking about, this kind of adulting thing. The king of air is all about, uh, you know, the king of swords is about reasoning and thought and clear, clear mindedness. So this is kind of bringing in a little bit of, um, you know, the reasoning mind compared to the passionate creative side. And I was really noticing that this one is, is caged, it's contained, right? So this, this encounter for whichever one you are, it is triggering this, um, this, you know, I almost see like the, the core chakra, the sacral chakra, not the sacral, the, um, solar plexus is like the solar plexus chakra, just lighting up and expanding and when that happens it kind of is bringing to the awareness that there's um not necessarily a blockage it's like uh there's a little bit of a resistance in that expansion because of some thoughts or beliefs or just like i said adulting being responsible being um indoctrinated with other people's belief systems has really kept this this part your fire in the core of your belly has been contained because of this energy right so but this is expanding and it's absolutely going to break through that cage but it's bringing it to awareness that there is a bit of confinement in that there's a there's some confinement that has been placed there previous to this that this experience is now it's going to burst right through it, but it's bringing it to the awareness of whoever this is, whichever one is. And like I said, it could be both. And um, I say that because the canary comes up next. And the canary for me recently has really been, um, the canary is newly uncaged. So, you know, that's what's bracketing this, this king of air, this reasoning responsible energy, the king of swords is bracketed by all of this uncaging of passion singing your own song like i was talking about if this is if this is other people's belief systems that you've been that you've been um dutifully working within up until now it's like breaking free of that and uh you know taking the confine the container off of your passion and really allowing it to to e expand and flourish and blossom you know this is you Sorry, Cancer, I'm not sure. One of these is you. One of these is the stag. One of these is the dog. And it's really emphasizing for me this, um, this caged in energy all about the 3D realm, the earth realm, the physical, um, you know, maybe working really hard up until this point to establish yourself, uh, you know, professionally, um, you know, having a nice home, all of those things, right, has really caged you in. And, you know, in comparison to this one, it's a bit dull and lonely and unexciting. You see her, the look on her face. She's, 
it's a very quiet, still energy. With this one has a lot of movement, a lot of exuberance, right? And that's this is what I'm talking about. It's like you meet and immediately it comes into this one's awareness about how caged in they are in comparison to this one, right? If this one ever was in a cage, they've turned it into this magical vortex of just swirling energy and creativity and passion, you know, and they're both tens. So like I said, I feel like, I feel like you're actually very well matched, but you know, you could both be very professional, well-established, you know, abundant individuals, but one of you feels a little bit insecure only because this one is has figured out how to really live their passion. And this one is is um, kind of doing living by the book, living by the rules, living within the container of the reasoning mind and society and all of the rules and all that stuff. So Cancer, I'm going to continue to pull cards. I'm just realizing I'm already 21 minutes in here. So I'm going to I'm going to stop here. I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you want to see how this unfolds farther, I will See you in the extended link is in the description box. And if not, I'll see you next time. Cancer, thank you. Bye.